I'm on my way to see what a kitted out Virgin Media install looks like. With super fast broadband, amazing Virgin TV, you get the speed, shows and sport you want. Outside it looks like a lovely family property, but on the inside, Virgin Media have switched it to super. Let's explore together, as a team, now. Scattered around the average home, you may find all kinds of interconnected gadgets. The intelligent speaker pods that do much more than play your favourite music playlists. The teenagers must have items like tablets and phones. And of course, everything else that connects to your computers, laptops and TVs. All these things need the best home connectivity available. With Virgin Media, you could get fibre that's five times faster than BT and Sky's available average speeds. Battle boredom with gripping Sky dramas, box set binges, cool kids TV, and get all the latest action on BT Sport in 4K Ultra HD. So, you've just booked your installation, or you're thinking about having Virgin Media in your home, you'll benefit by knowing a bit about what it might incur. Things they might ask you to do, or how long is it going to take to get you switched on. Well, I'm here to give you the lowdown and make sure you don't have any of those nasty little surprises. This cable needs to be fed from the green box you sometimes see in the street and fed right up to the property. This could mean we have to bury this in your front garden or under your driveway. However, we will always do our best to leave everything as we found it. Once the underground cable is up to the premises, then we need to come indoors and connect all your devices with coaxial cable. We may have to drill through walls unless we can find an alternative or less evasive route. If you live in a rented property, you'll need to ensure your landlord or lady approves of any work before it takes place. Oh, and that includes you too, students. Before we install your services, we'll send round an inspection engineer just to ensure all your ducks and T's are clear. Who are? Uh, our team are always working to navigate the tedious terrain to give you a happy ever after. We typically identify issues from the pavement outside the customer's house leading up to the premises we are installing. We do have to apply for a permit to request permission from the local authority to do any work on their pavements. These issues are normally handled beforehand so won't affect your install date. Sometimes things can become a little bit more complex. We may encounter issues that may take us a little longer to resolve. Like the dig site has been recently repaved or they have a specialist paving on there like coloured tarmac, block paving, or the dimpled covering you may find at pedestrian crossings, to name a few. If work is required on a busy road or there are parking restrictions around the site, this can take us longer as we have to gain the necessary permits. Typically, it can take us between two to four weeks for this type of work. With a little patience though, we'll still have you up and running. We do our best to keep our customers fully informed on what's going on, but these things can take time to resolve, so please be patient. We have a team that works tirelessly to complete these issues in a timely manner and we'll never start charging you for your services until they're completely installed and you're enjoying them. So sit back, relax and enjoy because there's great things around the corner. Cheers. Mm -hmm.